Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shuruq TV. The headlines are... The federal delegation reaches consensus with the demonstrators of Nertiti. Health Ministry registered 127 new cases of coronavirus. SPC invites objects to form their unions. The federal government delegation chaired by the Sovereign Council member Mohammed Hassan Taishi has reached an agreement with Nertiti Seating Committee. Most of the demands are agreed upon, including the formation of a joint force from the army, rapid support forces and police forces to collect firearms and deal with the insurgents, besides safeguarding the agricultural season. It was also agreed to organize the conventional mining to become under the supervision of the Sudanese Minerals Resources Company, besides providing support to a Taishi Peaceful Coexistence Initiative in Jabal Mara locality. He added that those schemes will be implemented within that for development and reconstruction projects agreed in Juba Peace talks. The Federal Ministry of Health announced that 127 new cases of corona were recorded, in addition to eight deaths and recovery of 226 cases, according to the Ministry's report issued today under the examination agreement for last Friday. This brings the total accumulative number of casualties since the beginning of the pandemic to 9,894, including 616 deaths and 4,899 4, cases of recovery. New cases were recorded in Khartoum State, 83, Al Jazeera State, 15, White Nile, one case, Sinar, six, River Nile, 16, two cases for each of the states of the Red Sea and North Kordofan, and one case in South and West Kordofan. The cases of recovery increased to reach 226. Khartoum State has 173, Al Jazeera, 51, Sinar, one case, and West Darfur, one case. The Gadarif State Police in Al Quraysha border district arrested a gang operating in the area of arms smuggling across the border with Ethiopia. They seized more than 408 pistols on their way to Sudan, and this achievement is the culmination of great efforts by the regular forces in the framework of controlling the Tay borders and the prevention of arms smuggling, drug, and human trafficking. Sabir al Yabo, director of police in Al Gadarif state, said that the high coordination between the components of the security system in the state and the speed of exchanging information has contributed in seizing great numbers of weapons during the recent period. The South Sudanese mediation of the peace talks in Sudan confirmed that the peace agreement between the Sudanese parties will be signed within a week from now in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. Tud Galwag, the special envoy of the president of South Sudan and head of the mediation delegation, said in a press statement before his departure to Juba today, our greeting to the Sudanese people and tell them that peace will come and the peace agreement will be signed a week from now in Juba. Galwag had met the president of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok during his mediation on peace talks. The member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Aisha Musa, took the vision and goals of the National Organization for Respecting Time, and she promised during her meeting in the Republican Palace today to support the organization in carrying out its goals. The organization's delegation, headed by its Director General Hassan Uthman Ibrahim, former commander of the Signal Corps, confirmed that the organization held several workshops in universities. It also opened 18 branches in the state capitals and includes more than 50 consultants from high degrees holders and experts in the fields of education and human development. Major General Ahmed Sabir, the governor of a Jazeera state, issued a decision today to stop the work of brick ambushes in all localities of the state, distancing less than three kilometers from the housing sites in order to preserve the health of citizens and prohibits the use of beast manure in the fire. All owners of ambushes have to use alternatives like gas and solar energy, and the executives and local security committees must take the necessary measures to implement the decision, and whoever disobeys this decision will expose themselves to the authorities. The Secretariat of the Professionals Confederation confirmed that the dynamic spirit of the revolution is the union and the neighborhood committee, said Ammar al-Baqir, a member of the SPC. 
He further affirmed that the Assembly supports the trade union law of the year 2020 and that drafted law of the year 2010 was without the participation of people and that the SPC will support everyone in how to form unions on the basis of baseline construction, whether in the capital or the states. Reminding headlines. Health Ministry. The delegation reaches consensus with the demonstrators of Nertiti. 127 new cases of corona registered. SPC invites objects to form their unions. Thank you very much for following and see you tomorrow.